After much debate, the International Eel Pout Festival is returning to Walker this year. Josh Peterson shows us what changes have been made for this year's event. One after another after another. A steady stream of trucks, cars and fish houses have been making their way to Walker, where the city on the bay grows to a metropolis on the lake. Hi guys, welcome to Eel Pout. Do you guys want to buy a button? For the past few days, the shoreline of Leech Lake has been bustling with activity, all in preparation for the 39th annual International Eel Pout Festival, where a few short months ago, almost didn't happen. You know, things happen the way they did and they happen for a reason and we're happy to be here. We got great ice, no driving restrictions, um, and we're expecting a great event. Through the new corporate partnership that was formed that helped keep the Eel Pout Festival here in Walker, one of the things that's different about this year's event is that everything is centrally located in one spot. The Chase plays host to Eel Pout Revelers and with the festival's new arrangement, it's expected to make concessions and entertainment more accessible. Uh, just kind of a one-stop shop. So we have all the vendors. Uh, Ice Castle Fish Houses are down here showing their new product off. We have the big lakeside tent. Uh, so it's kind of a one-stop shop. Everybody can come in, walk right up, porta potties, everything's right here. Eel Pout workers are not the only ones busy preparing for the weekend. At the Cass County Sheriff's Office, they will have all hands on deck. I'm assuming we'll be assisted by the State Patrol and uh, Minnesota DNR. So. It's a cooperation. Leech Lake Tribal Police assists us, the city police, Department of Walker Police. So a lot of people working, but uh, again, it's just to keep the event safe. Due to ideal conditions, this will be the first time in years the sheriff's office didn't have to place restrictions on the festival. I don't recall in the last uh, six, eight years maybe we've had this good of ice conditions, but a reminder, the event, a, a reminder to the folks going that ice is never safe. Already the Eel Pout Festival is seeing a boost in interest because of no restrictions and staff is ready for a record year. This is probably the busiest Thursday I've seen in seven years of doing this, so I'm interested to see when the sun comes up tomorrow. In Walker, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. The Eel Pout kicked off tonight and runs through Sunday. We've posted a link to the schedule of events on our website at lptv.org news. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.